Hello, how's it going everybody? Tomeister here and welcome back once again to the city of Bixton. This episode is going to be structured a little differently than my usual Bixton videos as a big part of it is going to be in time-lapse mode. And the reason for that is simply because the scope of the project that I'm going to be working on this episode is so large that I can never fit it in a one hour or less live Let's Play video. So I got to condense everything into a time-lapse mode. So what I'm going to be doing this episode is actually starting a new city on our existing map. So what's really exciting about City Skylines 2 is the ability to purchase tiles anywhere on the map, which means I could literally purchase these tiles over here and start a completely independent city, totally self-sufficient, totally independent from all the services in the main city which is really, really cool. But I'm not going to go that far in this episode. I'm simply going to expand on the territory that I already own and uh, simply start a new partially connected city over in this part of the map. And I'm going to go over the reasons why I'm doing this in just a minute. So I have 20 tiles available for purchase. So I'm going to go ahead and strategically select all the tiles that I'm going to need here. Uh, I think this should be okay, but I may want to purchase this tile as well. I think, I think I'm okay with this. So here we go. That is going to be the territory for our new city that's going to be over here. So you're probably wondering why am I doing this? Why, <laughs> why is this necessary at all? Well, one of the issues that I'm facing in Bixton right now is college capacity. So you can see here this one college campus that I have in the city is almost full and it is upgraded to the max. There's nothing else I can do for this campus. I already have all of the upgrades, uh, the extension wing, the capacity is maxed out. This is, this is it. <laughs> and I feel like Bixton is too small to have a second college. So I figured the next best thing would be to build a college town over here across this bay. So what's really cool is this city that I have yet to name, so this is where you guys come in. <laughs> this city over here is eventually going to expand, Bixton is also going to expand, and both cities will eventually merge into each other, probably somewhere over here, I imagine. So uh, it's going to be an interesting concept to see both of these cities grow into one big conglomerate. So the basic idea that, that I'm imagining in my head is as if Bixton is Seattle and our unnamed city would be Tacoma. So they're, they're kind of like one major city that just kind of conglomerated into one and uh, it's just one endless city from one end to the other. So other than that, there's a number of other issues that I'm facing such as high rent prices in Bixton, I'm also eventually going to suffer from capacity issues here in the university as well. I should probably rectify that sooner rather than later, actually. So I'm going to place an extension wing right now because I know I'm going to forget as I'm going to be working on the new city for a while. So uh, might as well do that as we speak. Um, so I'm going to hopefully fix a lot of the issues that Bixton is having by offloading a lot of, uh, of people into this new city. Um, there is one more thing also that I have to address or well not necessarily address but go over before I start anything and that is look how many progression points we have now. So uh, let's go through here. Let's purchase some things. I'm going to go ahead with large roads because I would like to make do uh, with that because I would eventually like to make my way up to Grand Bridge. Um, I think this would become useful at some point during the city but I'm going to Go ahead and uh, stick with large roads for now. Electricity, I don't think anything's necessary right now. I just placed a geothermal plant. So that is going to provide us with enough power for the foreseeable future. Water, I think I'm still good. Let me check here. Water availability. Um, I'm eventually going to have to upgrade my infrastructure. But I think for now, I'll just continue to place water pumps and water towers. Hospitals, I think I'm okay. I'll have to place a hospital here pretty soon. Maybe replace some of the, uh, the little clinics that I have dotted around town. Recycling center. Actually, you know what? There's a new patch that came out for the game recently, which changes the way 
garbage management works, but I think it's still not an issue right now. So I'm currently exporting 100% of my garbage. 756 tons. How, is this actually costing me any money? Okay. <laughs> it's not costing me a single penny. Wow. All right. So <laughs> I'm not going to worry about garbage management at all just yet. Education. Um, okay. Wow. This is not bad. I could... I could unlock a technical university, maybe the medical university as well. I mean, they're only two points each. Uh, what do we have here? I should probably get a fire station in town pretty soon. Maybe an emergency shelter? Because you never know when a tornado is going to spawn out of nowhere, so I'll do that as well. Forest fires haven't seemed to be an issue yet, so I'm not going to do uh, a helicopter station just yet. Um, oh, yeah. I, you know, I've actually been meaning to do this. I would like to unlock the city hall because the town is growing and, um, you know, I need some sort of local government now. And, uh, oh, well, that's all the points we have for now. I don't think I can spend my one point on anything anymore. Yeah, everything else is more than one point. So I'm good to go with that. I'll, I'll spare my one point and I'll spend it on uh, something in the near future. All right, guys. So um, I'm going to jump into time lapse mode now and uh, get started on our new city, which again has no name. So leave me some name suggestions down below in the comments. The first thing I'm going to do with this new town is a little bit of terraforming along the coast. And the reason for that is because I'm going to place a train station right smack dab in the middle of downtown as I wanted to provide public transportation from the get go in this new town. And I thought that a train station right in the middle of the city would be most appropriate. You know, that's often the case with real cities that are built around train infrastructure. You'll have like a central terminal in the middle of the city and the city kind of expands from that. Uh, so I kind of wanted to reflect this in this new town. Plus what I'm gonna do here is really, really cool. Uh, I, I kind of had this master plan laid out, um, but uh, I'm gonna set it up in, in a way so these tracks go over this main avenue here. And it's gonna look really cool here in a minute.
All right, guys, here is my basic road layout. It's a little more than basic, but uh, this is what we're going to start off with. And the very first thing I'm going to want to do is to create a train route from our no-name town all the way to downtown Bixton. And uh, I'm going to bring this right into probably this third ramp here, just because we have no traffic coming through this specific line. It all merges into the same line anyways, but just to uh, keep things all separate. All right, there we go. Train line four, I'm going to name this. Well, I can't really name it yet because <laughs> the town has no name. Um, I'm going to just keep it as train line four and I'm going to give this a nice shade of green. And can I manage this line? Assigned vehicles, I probably don't need. Oh, okay, so the maximum number of vehicles can be 10. Okay, so I have it as five. I probably don't even need five. Oh, the minimum is three? Okay, well, let's do four. Okay, and it appears there is not enough vehicles. Is that because my rail yard? Yeah. There's not enough room in the rail yard. Is there any upgrades I can do? Not really. I'll just have to build a second rail yard, it looks like. Uh-oh. Or, or can I manage my rail lines? Because there's not a ton of people using the rail system just yet. So let's go into the east outside connection. Bring this down to two. Um, and then the south. I'm just going to bring everything down to two. Oops, that is not what I wanted to do. Uh, trains, west outside connection. Uh, sure, two. And then our train line four. I'm going to bring this down to three, actually. There, so I think now we should have enough trains available, and it looks like we already do. And we got 10 passengers coming over here. Wow, we got nothing going on except the college campus over here. So maybe they're coming to college. Um, which is the main reason why I built this town in the first place. Uh, so let's continue to lay down all the essential services that this town is going to need, such as a medical clinic. Um, I'm going to build the clinic over in this corner. Uh, I'm going to need an elementary school. Uh oh, I didn't make my block sizes big enough. <laughs> Should have made them one more. Uh, but that's okay. I can fit it over here. Actually, you know what would be cool? Oh, it doesn't fit there. That would have been cool, though. Doesn't fit here. Doesn't fit here. Um... I guess I'll place it right, right here. And I'll give it an upgrade already. Why not a playground? Like that. Children's clinic. Oh no, I won't be able to fit a children's clinic here. Shoot. Okay, I'm going to destroy it. I guess I could have moved it, but it's okay. So I'm going to nudge the school over a bit. Children's clinic. I'm going to build the clinic here and then the schoolyard over here. All right, so we got an elementary school. Do I need a high school? I probably need a high school. Lots of education buildings going in over here. Um, maybe I will build it. Hmm, 
is going to become like downtown. I don't necessarily want a high school right downtown, but at the same time, it's not really a big deal. So I'm going to place one down anyways. All right. So I got all levels of education over here, except the university. Uh, but that's not really necessary right now because my main university is not uh, filled up yet. So police station, we got to get some police in here. I think the police station is going to go over here. And there we have it. So at this point, we're ready to get started with zoning. Because if you look over here in Bixton, we're kind of in a dire situation here where rent is increasing to a very high level. So I'm going to offload some of that, that excessive demand over here in our new town. So I'm gonna make this all residential. Maybe I'll have some mixed commercial slash residential over here. You know what, I might as well make these whole blocks just filled there. And let's have some row housing. Oh my god, it looks like I have eliminated all of my <laughs> medium density. Alright, well, it looks like we're going low density over here then. And I feel kind of bad because a lot of what I'm zoning right now will eventually become medium density because this is going to be downtown for this new uh, city that I'm building. It's not going to be as big as Bixton. I don't want it to steal the spotlight. But it's still going to be an, a decent sized city. It's probably going to be a few skyscrapers over here at least. But I guess for now, let's zone this all low density uh, residential. And wow, look at that. I just eliminated most of my demand. So I'll maybe just place down some commercial as well over here. And then all of this residential. <laughs> and there we go, guys. Wow, that is so cool. Uh, the only thing now, though, is I still have a ton of high density residential. Uh, that's not a problem because I can just go into downtown over here and I can start laying down maybe one or two blocks of high density. Let's see here how we can properly rezone this. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll get rid of these row houses. And let's get a big old skyscraper in here. Oh yeah, wow. Do I have enough demand for a second one? Ah, I probably do. Let's uh, maybe get a small one in here. Oh, maybe not. But it's okay. I'll, I'll just leave the uh, empty space there and it'll eventually get filled up. Perfect. Look at that, guys. Got our new city going. I really, really like what I did here with the trains. Eventually, once the city gets all built up, it's, it's going to look really, really cool. Uh, how do we, how is this station doing? Do we have any, we have zero passengers waiting, but is anybody using the line? Zero percent. So nobody is choosing to come to this city, this town, via train. They're probably all driving. Which is fine. Uh, okay, zero people are using the college, but let's go check over here. Uh, oh, no, that's my university. College. Um, okay, well, capacity is still kind of a thing. I think I just need to give it a bit more time in order for everybody to start settling in this part of town. Uh, but anyway, there we have it. There, This is the start of this city. It's going to grow a lot more from here, and uh, it's really exciting. And for now, I'm just going to remove these little bits of road. 
Yeah, so we'll just have to give it a little bit of time for students to start moving in. All right, well, um, about the rent issue. So a lot of people are saying high rent is, uh, a higher zone density or different zoning might be needed. <clears throat> so I'm just browsing through my city's info views, making sure everything is in check. And if I check my population tab here, you can see that the city isn't actually doing that bad. Uh, unemployment rate is at 7.7%, which is a little high, but it's not really that bad. Um, birth rate is good. It's higher than death rate, which is a good thing. Tons of people moving in versus moving out. Um, you know, we got plenty of jobs available, plenty of people employed. So things are going good. Everybody is really, really happy. Just the noise pollution is bothering some people. I really don't know why, but uh, anyways, it's it's not much of a concern. Citizen wealth. Um, I wish there was a number associated with this. It's it's just a chart. You know, we got some wealthy people in town, but you know, everybody is pretty average. Workplace availability. Uh, okay, wow, we got uh, a lot of educated people, poorly educated. That's fine. And I like that there's a heat map as well, which is pretty cool. Um, I just want to check my noise pollution. It's probably... The unhappiness is probably due to traffic, I would assume. Look, along these busy roads, along the rail lines, is really where we're seeing a lot of noise pollution. But overall, it's not too bad. Oh, wow, look at this. I got a new skyscraper. This is the one we've just built. That's... This is actually a nice building. Wow. I like it. If I go down to ground view, you can see that we, uh... Oh, okay, no, 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 never mind. There wouldn't be any shops along this, uh, this building, but... I mean, the building is kind of square on all other sides, but, uh, <laughs> at least one surface is a little different. Nice. So, that, uh, that will do for quite some time. Um... The last thing I want to do in this episode is, at the beginning of this episode, I purchased a whole... Alright, so the last thing I want to focus on in this episode is, I want to build some of the things that I unlocked with my progression points. And one of those things is... Oh lord, I don't even know where this is. Oh, it'd be here. Administration. Uh, a city hall. Okay, so... Uh, and a welfare office. I should have placed this a long time ago. It helps. Uh, decrease crime and just helps to rehabilitate people but I mean the main focus here I want to place a city hall um, it doesn't really do too much for the city as you can see it just uh, lowers our interest rates on any loans that we take out which I probably won't do and uh, decreases import costs citywide so let's start with the welfare office which is quite a large building so I'm gonna be forced to place it on the outskirts of town Probably, probably in this vicinity. Maybe around the college. Oh, no, wait. I don't want to touch the college at all because I haven't done all the upgrades to it yet. Which I probably could. Am I making money? I'm making a little bit of money. Okay, let's... I'll get back to that, but for now, I want to place the welfare office. Uh, where do I fit this? It's not going to fit anywhere in downtown. It's got to be accessible to people, so I can't really place it too far in the outskirts. I think I'm just going to place it... Oh yeah, I got the power lines there. I think I'm going to put it right over here, right in this neighborhood. There. Good old tax office. There's no upgrades for this building. So, or tax office. Welfare office. That's what I meant. Uh, okay, so we got that down. And let's finally go with the city hall. Which I'm sure will have upgrades for this building. And it's not overly big. So I can probably squeeze it somewhere in downtown. I would like for this building to be downtown just because it's... 
It's very, uh, it's very official. Oh, wow. It fits right, right in this block. So let me just pause the game real quick. Do I have, oh, okay. I don't have any bus routes going through here. I can safely destroy this whole neighborhood. Now, I'm very sorry to all these people. But in the name of expansion, we'll have to relocate them elsewhere. There we go. And I keep going in my education menu. Oh, it's on a bit of a hill. I hope this doesn't screw up the terrain too bad. Let's try it. Woo. All right, that's perfect. <laughs> I probably didn't have to destroy all that. Uh, but maybe planning offices. Oh, okay. That's just an add-on and that just adds on to the other side. So yeah, unfortunately I probably didn't have to destroy this whole neighborhood, but it's okay. I am going to upgrade these buildings to a higher density anyway. Here, I'll unpause the game. There we go. Let's get some medium density in here. Oops. Oh crap, that's not what I wanted to do. I thought I was selecting uh, some wall-to-wall -wall buildings. Oops. All right, well, I'll be forced to destroy these. And there we go. And it's actually really cool, guys, because I got a bus stop right here. So the bus stop is going to perfectly serve the people here. I'm just, <laughs> I'm actually just going to scooch it over maybe a little bit to right here. And I'm glad the bus route actually follows it. We don't want to block the entrance into the city hall. Uh, what do I actually, what do these uh, upgrades do? So negative 5% crime if I place a city court, city planning offices, minus 5 building level costs citywide. I'm losing a bit of money. How is our crime anyway in the city? I haven't checked in a little while. It was quite high at times, so it uh, it's at oh seven percent. Well, you know what? I'm gonna place a city court, and that's gonna bring it down to like two percent. And I may as well just go all in. City planning offices. We'll get a full city hall going here. Beautiful. Look at that wonderful building, guys. And I might as well do a little bit of detailing around it due to, uh, you know, I got some empty space here. Let's get some nice rows of trees. There. This will look nice when it's all forested in. And then I'll add a couple more here. Wow, this is actually a really nice building. I love it. And it looks like we've eliminated a lot of our rent issue. Oh my God, what's going on? Oh, it's all the traffic coming in here. I was like, what are these icons? But it's just traffic. So I guess a lot of people are choosing to take the old road rather than the highway. I don't, I don't really blame them because this is like a pretty decent detour. All right, one more thing I have to look into before ending this episode that I just thought of. And that is my telecom service. I haven't checked into this in a long while. And as you can see, coverage is not that great. The city has expanded a great deal since I last checked this. And uh, <laughs> you can see here that my little two towers near downtown are, are 
not cutting it anymore. So I'm just going to go around town and place a few towers here and there just to improve the coverage. Make sure that everybody has access to uh, the cell phone data. And uh, I'm going to place one over here near the industrial park. And I like how the coverage works, actually. The higher you place a tower, the better the coverage is, I think. I think that's how it works. I mean, sometimes it's a little weird. Like, if I move my tower over here, it's not as good as if I place it farther out of town for some reason. Uh, where do I put it? Hmm. Uh, I think over here. Yeah, that should do it. And I'm going to place one more over here near downtown, if I can squeeze it in somewhere. I don't want to ruin... I don't really want to ruin the city, though. Destroy any important buildings near the highway. Hmm. Where can I fit this? Yeah. Oh! Awesome, wow, okay, so uh, I wasn't expecting this, but we're now a small city. So we get almost 3 million in the bank, 10 more progression points, and 15 more tiles. Awesome. And, oh, awesome! High density offices. Great, I've been looking forward to unlocking this, because now we can get a really, really great downtown getting started. Uh, so I got high speed highways, increases the speed limit on the highway, okay. That's interesting. Uh, combustion engine ban and city promotion. What's this? Do, do, do. Oh, okay. So basically, we can uh, just promote the city a little bit more, that which attracts more tourists, uh, but it increases the crime rate in the city. So I don't know. It might be worth it in some scenarios. Cool. Well, there it is, guys. There is our coverage. Um, I might as well go ahead and place one tower over here in our new city just to get them started. And postal service, I haven't gotten into in a little while, but I'm going to leave that for next episode. And with that, guys, I am going to wrap up this episode. But before I do, let's take a look here. You can see that some students are starting to finally move into the new college, which is really exciting. And uh, if we check my train station here, you can see that we got 112 people in this specific train that is just arriving at the station. Really, really exciting. So the train station is working. People are using it to commute back and forth from Bixton. Let's take a look here. I'm, I'm actually curious to see how the passengers interact with the train station. So the train has come to a full stop. Oh, wow, look at that, guys. Passengers are actually coming out through the doors, coming out of the train. That is really cool. So they're going to make their way over to our road. Where are they going to get taxied to their destination? Or are they just going to hop into a car and go? Or are they just going to walk to their destination? Maybe they'll just walk because I have no public transportation whatsoever here in the new town. Yeah, it looks like they're just walking everywhere. That is so cool, guys. This is awesome. You know what I'm gonna have to do? I'm gonna have to like choose somebody and follow them. I'm gonna have to do that at one point. I'm not gonna do that this episode, but uh, I think it would be really cool to do at one point. Anyways, I am going to wrap up this episode, guys. I thank you so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate you guys tuning in. And if you enjoyed my video, I would really appreciate if you leave it a like and drop a comment down below. I love when you guys leave comments, whatever it is you want to say. If you have any tips or suggestions or whatever the case is, drop them down below. I'm always happy to read them. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well to get notified for future episodes. And with that being said, guys, thank you and take care.